Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have a new dinner recipe for you guys and I'll be making my cheesy stuffed pasta shells with boulonnais sauce. This pasta dish is so incredibly hearty and warming and so cheesy and delicious. I'm going to stuff the shells with three different types of cheese. We have ricotta, mozzarella and parmesan and we're going to layer the shells over a bed of my homemade boulonnais sauce. It is so hearty and warming, the perfect complement for the shells. I released that recipe just a few days ago and I'll include the link down in the video description box below. This pasta dish is so great year round, but especially during the fall and winter months when you're craving for some ultimate comfort food. Let me show you how to make this amazing dish. And before we get started on our cheesy filling, I need to prepare my pasta. So I'm bringing a large pot of salted water up to boil on my back burner, and I'm going to prepare two 12 ounce packages of jumbo pasta shells. The reason I make two boxes is because some of them are torn, some of them are broken in half, and they just won't work for this recipe. And by making two boxes, we guarantee that we have enough shells for the full recipe. So I'm going to get these cooking and we're gonna get started on that delicious filling. For my filling, I'm going to start with a couple tablespoons of salted butter. I'm just going to let that butter melt in my pan first. And into the melted butter, I'm going to add in one large diced onion. And I'm going to let this onion cook for about four minutes until it's nice and tender. And then to my softened onions, I'm going to add in a couple minced garlic cloves and just let that cook for another 30 seconds. And now I'm ready to add my spinach. Today I'm using a five ounce box of baby spinach. I'm going to drop it into my pan. We wanna wilt down the spinach until it's nicely reduced. And the spinach wilts down really fast. This whole process takes just a few minutes and this looks just about done. I'm gonna cook it for a few seconds longer. And now it's time for my cheese. So I have 32 ounces of whole milk ricotta cheese. I like the extra fat versus getting a skim milk ricotta because it's richer, creamier, it's gonna taste so good. Next I'll add in two cups of grated mozzarella cheese one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of salt, a little bit of ground black pepper. I'm also going to grate in just a touch of a nutmeg. It adds something really special to this recipe. I'm gonna add about one eighth of a teaspoon. And my last ingredient, two large egg yolks. Drop that in. And then I'm going to take my spatula and just combine everything together. You want a really beautiful, uniform mixture. And now it's time to put these stuffed pasta shells together. So I have my cheesy filling all done and ready to go. I have a large casserole tray for the stuffed shells. I also have my boulonnais sauce all done and ready to go. Now I have a separate video recipe for the boulonnais sauce. It's gonna be in the video description box below. This sauce is so hearty and warm and it's gonna be the perfect complement for these shells. Now if you don't have the two hours that it takes to make the sauce, do not be ashamed to use a jar of some store-bought sauce. It's not gonna be as good, but it's still gonna be delicious. And then I have my pasta shells all done. Now what I like to do with these is I'll cook them until they're al dente, drain them, and then pour the, some cold water into the pot and add a little bit of oil, and that way the shells won't stick together, because otherwise they like to glue together and then they get torn when you try to take them apart. Now let's put this all together. And the first thing I'm going to do is spread some of that delicious boulonnais sauce into the bottom of my casserole pan. And I like to have lots of sauce, so I'm just gonna layer it right in. The sauce is so amazing, you guys are gonna love it. And I do have a little bit of my boulonnais sauce left over, so what I like to do is just keep the rest of it stored in the refrigerator for a different recipe, or you could just cut the boulonnais sauce recipe in half from the get-go. And then to make the shells, you wanna grab one of the shells, get a spoonful of that filling, and I generously fill these. You wanna have a lot of cheese in every single bite. Just stuff them right up. And that's it, we're gonna place them directly onto the sauce.
And these pasta shells are almost ready to go into the oven. I actually had some extra sauce and cheese left over, so I was able to make a mini casserole. This is gonna be perfect for sharing with neighbors or family. I'm going to sprinkle some more cheese on top. So about a three-fourths cup of mozzarella cheese and about a quarter cup of Parmesan. And I'm just gonna layer that right over the shells. And my stuffed pasta shells are ready to go into the oven. I have mine preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and they're going to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes until that cheese is bubbly and melted on the top. These are gonna be so delicious. I just took my pasta shells out of the oven. They are piping hot. There's still a little bit of that sauce on the edges that's bubbling away. And then for the last couple minutes, I put these under the broiler so you get that nice golden finish on top. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of chopped fresh basil on top. And these stuffed shells are ready to be enjoyed and I can't wait, they smell so, so good. All right, I'm gonna scoop out a few of these pasta shells. Oh man, that cheese is just so melted. These are gonna be so fantastic. These pasta shells look so amazing. Let's break into one. Oh, see the cheese is already coming out the sides. You don't even have to break it open. Oh man, this is going to be so, so good. Like all that melted cheese. And then what you wanna do is grab a little bit of the sauce, grab some cheese. And it's just so melty and delicious. This is going to be incredible. And that is it guys for my cheesy stuffed pasta shells. These turned out so great. I can't wait to dig in and enjoy these. For the fall recipe, don't forget to head on down in the video description box. I'll have all the links for the boulonnais sauce, for this recipe, and everything will be up on my website as well. Oh, these look so amazing. I wish you guys could smell the aroma of these. So, so incredible. You wanna be really careful because they're gonna be extra hot when they come out of the oven. Mmm, mm-hmm. These are the best ever stuffed pasta shells. There is so much incredible flavor going on from that cheese on the inside, that boulonnais sauce. It's so hearty and warming and meaty, has lots of ground beef and pork, and then that cheese filling. Oh my goodness, it is so creamy, just so cheesy. And I love the addition of the spinach and the onion on the inside. It really adds something special to the recipe. You guys are going to love this dish from the very first bite. So much going on, these are just phenomenal. If you are looking for the ultimate comfort dish this fall or winter, this is the recipe for you to try. It is so, so delicious. Don't forget to head on down in the video description box for the recipe link. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe at home as much as I do, and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.